The basic navigation title modifier lets us place a string up there into the navigation bar area like this. I can say we have navigation title of Swift UI. But if you're using the inline title display mode, you can also pass a binding to a string to navigation title. And that'll then be displayed as usual, but with an important addition. I'll have a little iOS small arrow next to the title that reveals a rename button to rename that particular binding. So we might say, for example, I want to have some state for our name up here. I'll do at state private var name, or title even better. Uh, we'll do Swift UI as the default. And then down here, for the title, I'm gonna say you are dollar title like that. Now you can see it looks the same. That's because we aren't in inline display mode. And to enable navigation bar title display mode of dot inline. And now you see that little arrow hanging down here. I press command R right like a bit bigger on the screen. And uh, you can see here, tap the arrow, press rename, and just go ahead and type a new name. Type like hello, for example, and boom, that's written back to the state. This is a good choice when the title reflects something already entered by the user. because It means you haven't got to add an extra text field to your layout.